Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome to the to the first episode of Java Platform 2D Game Development. And I don't know how the sound is going to be for this episode and my microphone might run out of battery, but I I actually got a new microphone or a new headset uh, in a Christmas present. And my new microphone is uh, a little bit weird sometimes and it's playing the fool the class is the class fool um, anyways let's begin the tutorial right off uh, this game is gonna be a platform 2d side scroller in Java you will be able to play some sort of stuff down uh, maybe like uh, you, you press the T key you'll, pr you'll place uh, a block in front of you or so in front of you or something like that um, but that's that's our goal with this here, maybe some shooting involved, I don't know, um, I'm gonna do this entirely from my brain, I've had a lot of 2D platform game development pro projects in the past, um, actually not really, but <laughs> anyways, that's, that's fun enough, um, but I'm gonna start right off, um, sorry for not talking a lot in, in the beginning, uh, but I'm gonna try to just open up the code and make the code look like the code should. Uh, so basically what we'll need for this is one AA class and uh, I will now that's something to do in the next episode or in, in the next series uh, but I no, I'm gonna show, show you in the last episode of this this series uh, how to convert uh, your your games into applets uh, which will allow them uh, to be in the web or on, on web pages and stuff like that, which is totally amazing. I'm my my late, latest project uh, called A Fridge will be released on Steam this year, 2012. Yeah, of course it's 2012. Um, by the way, if you're watching this episode in in 2015 or 2015, um, you will have a chance to become a subscriber that watched the video in 2015 or 2015 <laughs> that's that's totally amazing anyways enough of that fooling around I'm gonna create another class called AB and also one called the AC uh, now we've got a couple of classes or not a couple uh, actually more more than a couple because a couple is two and this is three but anyways in this class I'm gonna create the constructor public AB and with this public AB I'm just gonna leave it blank I'm also gonna do public AB no not public AB public AC Java swing gonna import the Java Java X Java X swing and I'm gonna paste them like that and I'm gonna extend this class with a J frame and tell you what everything does in a second and I'm gonna extend this with a J panel so basically basically what I'm doing right here is I'm creating this main class that will hold the J frame and the J frame is based basically frame uh, that, that can hold many classes and then to the AC and the AC is basically uh, so to say uh, it's going to be a J panel. It's going to be on top of this J frame, um, probably on an abstraction layer of some sort, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, or maybe just drawn. Yeah, just drawn, uh, because we we only need one of them. Uh, so what I'd like to like you to do is to make sure that the J frame works. We want to do A B equals actually right here public static a b equals new no actually not let's not define it yet f stands for frame by the way that's at least my way to indicate what's a frame and what's not <laughs> wow I'm so tired today Ooh, gotta move my microphone closer to my mouth I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm telling you. I'm telling you a lot of important stuff and a lot of shit too, but anyways, a lot of crappy stuff at the same time as I'm telling you a lot of good stuff. 
But what we want to do with this f object is to define it. f equals new ab, and that's it. Uh, we want to do f dot set visible to true. f dot set default close operation j frame dot x dot close, and we're going to do f dot set resizable false because I like to have like. Um, Anyways, uh, I, I like to have a steady size that you can change. F dot set. Um, actually, going to make two variables: public static width equals 600. So we can a easily change width, width and height. Uh, static height equals 600. Uh, basically, going to change this to 800, uh, and this should be an integer. So with this, we can do at a set size. We can do width, height. This is going to be 800 by 600. Um, and f dot set title. And with that, I'm going to go for tutorial 2D platform game development alex youtube tutorials for beginners and pros or professionals I'm gonna go for pros so when we run this now this is what we'll get the one more thing i wanted it to, to be centered center the line uh, in this in the center now it's starting up here that's not what we want so what we do with that is that we're taking f dot set set um, set and I have to find it set location relative to and we're just gonna go for null and this is just basically telling Java set the the frames position relative to another or actually what it asks you uh, and we're giving it the command null which is basically nothing it's basically just error if we would say it in real life it's like it's not true it's not false it's it's just nothing it's it's not an object it's it's nothing uh, it's like space um, nothing 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 so basically then he doesn't know or it doesn't know i'm pretty sure it's a she java is a she um means uh it's basically like moving it to the center the center of the universe <laughs> of the universe uh of the screen by default that's basically what we want you now you can pretty now you can basically see this like in in my uh, right down corner uh, but it's actually in the center. I'm ex actually only recording a part of my screen, and that's because I want HD, a uh, high resolution uh, videos, at least as good as possible. So I'm trying to record uh, 720p. So, anyways, ow, my foot. <laughs> that chair. That that chair. Oh, it's it's just too cherry today. <laughs> cherry. Uh, anyways, um. What we want to do then is move over to this class. And in this class, we want to do public AC, and I'm going to call this uh, panel, or just P. Going to go for panel actually. Panel equals new AC, and with new AC, we can actually do stuff with it. So we can do add panel, and we're also going to going to have to set the layout. And it's going to be new grid layout because that's the layout that I'm mostly familiar with. Uh, it's my favorite one. It's so easy to choose. A new grid layout. And we've got to import it, of course. Um, and I can record tutorials until Wednesday because then some friends are going to come here and to Ireland too. And we're going to have a lot of fun, some pubs and... <laughs> Maybe not pubs, but uh, you you know. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. 
these should be 1 and these should be 0 because uh, basically with grid layout, let me just tell you something quick about the grid layout. It's basically, uh, this is the position on the screen. Um, if you're seeing this like we're adding a panel, a J panel on top of a J frame. And what that basically means is that we're adding this J frame on top of this, like on top of this window or in this window. And with the layout, one, one means in the column one here and the column one here, it would have two col columns. It would just have half the page. Um, and basically, this is the cell space between the, these different parts. Uh, it's actually really difficult to explain, but um, that's at least as good I, as I can explain it for you. Uh, but in this class, we should set the background. I can spell today. Strange color dot black. That's that's my favorite like color for game development. It's black. Just I'm making most things completely black. Black. So now you can see the color changed on the backdrop here. Uh, it's basically black. The entire screen now or the window. So that's basically that. And we of course want to draw some stuff on the screen. So we're gonna do public. Um, public void paint component graphics G and then the super dot paint component G and basically I'm just doing this super dot paint component since I learned it like this I'm pretty sure you don't have to do it like that uh, you can just remove that super if you'd like to and it worked for me with both. But now I'm going to create some rectangles. I'm going to create one public rectangle. And what a rectangle basically is... Um, actually... What a rectangle basically is... Um, it's like a rectangle in real life. But you, you can like check collisions with them. And they're really, really good for Java. Um, def Define ob objects. If you type that, Java will define all of your objects for you. So, I'm just joking. Um, I'm not an idiot. I'm sorry for my bad sense of humor. humor. Um, but basically, I'm creating this method because I want everything to be nice and organized. So, character equals new new rectangle rectangle and 100 100 nope definitely not um, so now I'm basically gonna do a it's not a a a a a dot width divided by 2 Public int character size character width, width equals um, let's go for say uh, 12 and the public integer character height equals 20 divided by 2 me means that we're gonna have to do minus it's trying to, to get all of these things right uh, minus minus what I don't know but we're running out of time um, character width divided by two so that's basically getting him to the center and I'm gonna do the more stuff in the next tutorial. But I will thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope the mic sounded uh, perfect. <laughs> that's, that, that's what I hope each time. But sometimes it's just being a, a silly idiot. And that makes me feel bad for it. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments and rate the video if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.